Yadi in Copenhagen for 24 hours. I just had an amazing lunch with a dear friend, Sandra Orberg, if you don't know her, and she's absolutely so sweet. We've had so much fun. We've made so many plans, a very quick meeting. And now I am off to a site visit uh, at a castle where we have a wedding next summer. September and October is full of site visits, which is so fun. And we get to visualize and start thinking about the different things that need to be done. Deep into the forest, like literally 20 minutes outside Copenhagen, not even 20 minutes, there is this beautiful castle up this road. And you get these fun surprises of the wedding planner that some, you, you just come into these different worlds. So I'm really excited to, to meet the couple. Look at this forest. It is so deep. Trees are so tall. And can you guess which way we are going? This would be the view for your guests, your surroundings. There is the castle. This castle has 23 bedrooms. There is room for a beautiful ceremony in the garden. There are so many beautiful rooms to get ready in and so many rooms to play in and have fun along the way. We are super excited to have a wedding here next year. Everything I have is in like travel, travel version when I travel, especially on these short travels because I, I only do like in and out <laughs> as fast as possible through security. So I'm actually trying a new one from Rituals. It's a little dry shampoo as I don't always have time to like wash, do all this stuff. It's just that my hair is so thick so it takes really long time to dry it. So then we'll see. It smells really nice. I love that and it doesn't get white. Anyways, we had a full day of meetings Super fun, so many fun people. Uh, Sandra and I are working on some really cool stuff that, that is coming that I cannot wait to share with you. I, you know, my life is very on the go when it's on the go. So, you know, work on the airplane, work on trains. Hair is done. Emails have been replied to as many as I could right now. That's how I curl my hair. It goes very fast. And I also did my makeup in literally five minutes. So when I pack, especially for these short trips, uh, I pack very practical. I always do that, really. I'm a very practical type of person <laughs> when it comes to packing and traveling for many, 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 many years. Anyway, I always pack. These from Ikea are really good. It's the perfect size. Uh, I put all my toiletries in here. I leave it very easily accessible, so when I get to security, I just whip it out. I leave my laptop on the outer case, so I just whoosh, quickly just drag it up. Or if it's on the inside, it's on the top, so it's easy to just take it out. All the dry toiletries, they're in my toilet bag, so when I arrive somewhere, when I'm done with security, I just pop this back in, so it's all there in one place, so it's easily and very sorted in my suitcase. Love these little packing boxes that I have. It's these ones. So for example, in this one, I keep all my wires, so all my chargers. It's always for my iPhone, laptop, and my iWatch. And I keep all these three together, so if I just need to charge something, I just pull it easily out, and that's very easily accessible. I use this little packing box. I love these boxes, they're so easy, and I keep all my clothes folded. It's easy to pull out. It's easy to see what I have. I have several of them and bigger luggage. I just pull out these and I have tops in one, bottoms in another, which makes it very easy. So when I lock it up in the suitcase, it's all organized. Shoes are in here, clothes are in here, coats underneath. So it's all organized and sorted. I'm making a quick bre breakfast for my brother and myself. Then I'm going to the airport, working on the way along to the airport, Catching my flight back to Norway and back to the kids and 